Hi YouTube family, welcome to today's video which is going to be a little tour of what my makeup is right now. I very recently moved across states from Washington to the state of Utah. When I did that, I decided that I didn't want to pack all of my makeup and what I finally did was I got brutal. You guys, I got so brutal with my makeup collection. And you see my vanity that is behind me. This vanity I did get off of Craigslist about four years ago. It is not an antique, but I love it. And I decided that what I was gonna do that was that everything needed to go in this vanity. And if it didn't go in the vanity, I do have a little bit of an overflow for skincare and then I have a separate place for my palettes. But other than that, all the makeup needed to go in this vanity for me to be able to move. So that's what I did. I made sure that everything fit in there and I decided that if it couldn't fit, it had to go. I got rid of two thirds of my makeup collection. I got rid of so much, you guys. But it's good because a lot of it was stuff that isn't even on the market anymore that I was hanging on to because I did like it, but I really wasn't using it because I couldn't show it too much here on camera. And off camera, I like to test what I'm showing you. Like I said, I was absolutely extreme in how I did this declutter and what I kept. So not showing you the declutter, but I'm going to show you what I kept and show you how I organized it a little bit into this dresser. I'm just gonna point the camera towards the dresser and show you guys basically how it looks every day as I'm doing my makeup and what is in these little drawers. Let's do get into this video. I hope that you guys enjoy seeing my makeup collection and seeing how I store it. Okay, so what I decided to do is kind of just pan across and give you a little bit of a view. This is a really hard angle, but basically that is my bottle collection up there. I love purple bottles and I collect them, perfume bottles, whatever. Those are miniatures up there. And then right here, you're going to see that I have my brushes and my eyeliners and my mascaras all in this little turntable type thing that I have. And then I also always have my mirror. I won't open that because it will blind you. And then over here I have makeup that I love to keep out because it's new makeup that I'm testing. This is some new stuff from the Tarte Holiday Collection and then Focaler Cosmet, Focaler, I hope I'm saying that right, Cosmetics um, was kind enough to send me a couple of things. I think what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to pull out each drawer and kind of show you what's in here. So this is my lipstick drawer. I had hundreds of lipsticks, but I decided that if they couldn't fit into this little drawer right here, that there was no way I was gonna keep them. So, so I was able to keep quite a few that I love. There's a lot of Maybelline in here, a lot of MAC. I kept just about all of my MAC, and I kept a lot of my Urban Decay, which I love their lipstick formula as well. So I really tried to pare them down to just what I'm using and just what I love. And then just to tell you a little bit about this turntable that I have or this round holder that I have that swivels, um, I just decided to pare down my brushes. I had so many brushes, you guys. I had this thing absolutely crammed full of brushes for face and eyes and I just decided that I was going to just pare them down to the ones I love and then I decided to only keep a few mascaras out at a time the rest of mas the mascaras I just don't want to have that many open because I really unless I don't like it and I put it to the side I don't want to have that many open so I have one primer and then four mascaras and then this one is just kind of crammed full of the eyeliners that I love and the lip liners I love I'll tell you my favorite lip liner right now my lip liners or lippies right now are from Bite Beauty, from the Sephora collection. I have several of those, those are in my purse, and then from ColourPop. And then my favorite high eyeliners right now are the highliners from Marc Jacobs, and I have a lot of those. And then the ones from Milani, I absolutely love the ones, the metallic ones from Milani. They are such a good formula, and they stay so well. But I do have a few other Urban Decay and stuff from the Sephora 21 Days of Beauty in there. And then the mirror that I have, I'm not gonna open it because it is a trifold mirror and I'm afraid that it would just really blind you. I will link this mirror if you want me to. It doesn't have any magnification in it, but it does light up. You can put a USB cord underneath here and you can use batteries on it for a backup if you want to. Okay, I'm gonna take these down. Now, after I take these down, you can tell that this is not an antique because it has this hole right here. This hole is meant for electrical cords for anything you need, whether it be your curling iron, hair dryer, or the electrical cord that will go to my mirror. So over here in this corner is where I keep all of my setting sprays, my primer sprays, and my refreshing sprays. Love having all of those. 
I think my very favorite is that Scandinavia one, which is the tallest one in there. So that is one corner. And then I have six little drawers right here. It has some Q-tips in here. It has a replacement for my Shiseido eyelash curler. And then it has all of my eyeshadow primers that I have been trying and some um, lash glue, which I hardly ever use lashes. I don't even know why they're in there. So that is not very full, which I'm glad. This next drawer is very full. This one is all of my concealers. I'm always wanting to test out and bring you the best concealer that there is. And some of these are really good. Some of them aren't so good, but I will mix these together too and make what works for me too. So I did keep a lot of those concealers because most of those are already are still on the market right now. And then this drawer right here is a lot of my eyebrow products, an extra eyelash curler, some eyebrow setting gel, and a couple eyebrow products that I try. Now down here, this is kind of another overflow drawer. I have perfume samples. I got this three piece from uh, Smashbox. It's during their holidays and it's got their photo finish primer, their primerizer and their primer water. Love that. And some eyeliners that didn't fit into that turn thing with all the brushes. <laughs> this is my, most of my um, primers and I keep these because these are the ones that I really like. This one I just got during Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty from Dermablend. Not sure about that one yet, but I have all these others. If you'd like me to review some primers, I can do that and tell you which ones are my favorite. Up here is my true overflow drawer. I have things that I love that I know I needed to pick up like these two um, lip liners from Bite Beauty. Bite Beauty is discontinuing them. And I just have things that I haven't opened yet. A couple mascaras and extra eyebrow tweezers. Best ones are from e.l.f. and they cost you two bucks. Gotta love it. And then over here in the corner, that is where I keep all of my foundations. And I don't actually have as many as I used to. I had three times that many foundations but I just decided that it was just such a waste. So yeah. those are some that I really love. My Flower Light Illusion is one of my favorites. My Juvia's Place, the NYX Born to Glow, all of those. So in this little corner drawer over here, I did the same thing that I did with my lipsticks. I downgraded all of my lip glosses to that if they can't go in this drawer, then I'm not gonna keep them. The other thing is I decided that if I can't show it on camera, then I don't wanna keep it. And the reason I can't show it on camera is because they don't have it anymore. I did keep a couple that I had like really fallen in love with that you can't get anymore. Like this one is from Lancome. But honestly, you guys, I just decided that I just wasn't gonna do that anymore. Okay, so this drawer right here is my blush highlighter drawer. And this drawer was so full that I had stuff stacked across the top. I couldn't get into it at all. And I just decided that I was just going to keep the things that I felt like I could show you or that I absolutely truly loved. And I'll show you one of the things that I'm talking about, like this Lorac blush. I love this blush, but you can't get it anymore. So this is really probably one of the very few things that I kept that you can't get anymore. Everything else in this drawer, I can show you on camera and you guys won't be like, well, that's discontinued. So I just really liked paring this down and having it very minimal. It's quite empty compared to what it was. You can see these are laying down. Everything was standing up and everything had its place. And so, yeah, I hardly have anything in here compared to what I did have. So, and there are a few bronzers in there as well. And then in my middle drawer right here, I kept like complexion products. So I have my beauty sponges back here. And then I have a couple of my primers right there, my e.l.f. and my Tatcha, which I use almost every day and love. And then I have all kinds of other powders in here. Most of these standing up right here are powders that I absolutely love. I do have this bronzer in here because it wouldn't fit in the other drawer. This little thing right here does have a few of my eyeshadow, single eyeshadows in it. But I had so many single eyeshadows and different things that I just wasn't using that I just decided that they were all going. I had a whole other huge chest of drawers that I had makeup in and everything went. If it couldn't go in here, it was going. So these are some things that I'm, I'm testing out, but there are also a few things that I really love that I kept and I knew I would continue to use. And there are some really good powders in here, you guys. I haven't done a powder video in a long time. I could do that for you guys too. Now this drawer right here, you guys, this is my everyday makeup drawer. This drawer is a mess. It always is. <laughs> but I love to make sure that I keep my everyday makeup in here. 
with the exception of these products that are back in here. These are my Wet n Wild highlighters. These are my two hourglass edit palettes. And then I have my Marc Jacobs bronzer, my Lumi bronzer, and my Laura Geller bronzer all back there. Those are things that really couldn't fit into drawers. And so I just kind of keep them in, in my drawer that I catch everything in. So this is my everyday drawer. This is the stuff that I reach for every day that I use every single day without fail. And, and I'll put whatever foundations that I'm testing out at the moment, whatever concealers I'm testing out. My bronzer that is in here is almost always this Sephora bronzer. I think I've mentioned that recently. My eyelash curler, my eyeliner sharpeners, my highbrow, my lip gloss that I wear to start every single day, my setting sprays that I'm using at the moment. And I'm really trying hard to use up this Marc Jacobs um, highlighter that's liquid because I've had it for too long, but I'm trying hard to use that one up my primer sprays or you know whatever sprays illuminating sprays my nyx multitasking mixing medium i need to do a whole video on this you guys because this stuff is awesome and i think so many of you guys have heard that from me before things that i really just love using two-sided tartist uh, felt and coal liner in there my eyebrow product that i use my eye primer a new mascara that I haven't gotten into, my mixing colors, my mixing pigments, and of course my fan for after I spray my face. So that's my everyday makeup drawer. This is where the catch-all gets right here. But I know that if I open this drawer, almost everything I need in here is gonna be here for my makeup looks. So okay, what you're seeing right here is the corner to my nightstand. And then that's a little vanity desk that I found at a yard sale. And then the topper thing I found separately at a yard sale. I'm getting ready to refurbish that in order for it to be white for my room and then to kind of match my vanity. But I'm gonna get closer to this so you guys can see what I have. So this is where I store all of my eyeshadow palettes. This is my laptop that I do all of my editing on and then the rest is eyeshadow palettes or face palettes. Over here I have all of my Juvia's Place. I have my LA Girl that I talked to you guys recently about. I do have a couple ColourPop in here. This is a little music box that my mom gave me when I was sick, I love it. Anyway, these are the Gingerbread palettes from Too Faced. There is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Little palettes. These are the Huda Beauty Obsession palettes in the gemstones that she had, the Urban Decay Born to Run, the Saharan palette from Alter Ego. And then over here, I have three from Makeup Revolution, one from BH Cosmetics. This is the new So Jaded palette, the Emily palette, three Morphe palettes right here, and then the Jaclyn Hill Morphe. This is one I made up myself of colors that I love that I just did single pans. This is a Milani palette that is from Laura Geller. And then looking right over here is all of my Anastasia palettes with the Alter Ego Temptress palette. This is the Dose of Colors Desi and Katie palette for indication, I think is what that one is called. I love that one, so I'm not gonna get rid of it. I do have the Huda Beauty New Nudes and then the two dupes that they had, one from Alter Ego and then the other one from Revolution Pro. I have a couple of Tarte palettes that are no longer available. My Flower Beauty Glow Powder, which I absolutely love, an Elf palette. And these are palettes that some of them are no longer available, but like the Jaclyn Hill one, I kept this specifically because I wanted to have those pressed shadows, or the, not shadows, those pressed highlighters. So these up here are all blush palettes. And then over there is my Dominique Cosmetics. I do have a new one from Wet n Wild over there that I'm trying out. And then I have the huge Morphe Purple palette, which I absolutely love. So that's everything for today's video. I hope that you did enjoy seeing how I organized my makeup here. I have a very small space and I have a very small space to film in too, but I love it. You guys, it's so much better than where we were before. Please give this video a thumbs up if you do like seeing organizational videos. I'm sure a few other organization videos will pop up if you do give a thumbs up. So. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for giving me a bit of your time today and watching what I kept from my brutal makeup declutter. Thank you guys so much for being here with me. You're the very best part of my day. Love you so very much. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you in my very next video. Take care. Bye-bye.